I've had a lot of people ask me about the little pin front and how to tie it, so I'm going to quickly tie it for you here. Um, not take long at all, it's quite a simple fly to tie actually. But it works really, really good at um, when the fish are on the pin fry. It works for me anyway, so I'll start off. That first one was on a barb, so I'm going to tie this one on a, a bar too. So this is a, a comp special, size 10. I tend not to use white, uh, I use this cream colour light car here, so come in and just a little bit down the, the hook shank there. I'm just going to catch a little bit of tying for that. And then back up to a point behind the eye. <coughs> I've got here a mallard feather. I'll just strip some of the plumes away. I'm just going to pinch myself a little section off. Make sure the tips are married up. Like so. If there's any that you feel are a little out, just pull them to get them in line. And then um, what I do is just swap it over my fingers. And I'll look where I want the tail. So I'm going to secure it in there. I want that length as the tail. You can see it just sticking out above the eye. That's what I want as the tail. So come in, pinch and loop here, and secure. If you're not happy at this stage, you can pull this forward or pull it back. So you've only got a couple of thread wraps in there. Coming down the body, a little touch. Same as where you did your thread wraps previous. And then come in at an angle with your scissors. I'll do a, a blog on how to fish these. Um, a lot of people are nymph them. I tend not to nymph them as a particular way in which I fish it. Anyway, back to the fly. So I've come to a point there, I'm, I'm opposite the barb, and I build up a little bed of thread here. Because that's got to be my tying in point. So my body is, there's tinsel. Um, I catch that in on my side here. I want to leave that little bump here as my tying in point for the, the feather to create the tail. And I just come up to where the thorax would be. And then I come in with a little bit of varnish. Now the reason for this is I've got a whole bed of thread on there. And it just allows the miler to adhere well to the to the body and it saves it, it makes it just a little bit more robust. So you're coming up, overlapping turns, stopping at a point to the thorax there, and then secure three wraps here. I come in with my scissors, snip that away. Now because we've pushed all that varnish up towards the head, there'll be a little bit there. Again, I've got red holographic here. I'm just going to wind that down again overlapping times down the shank three four and then back up one two three four and secure it like so pull everything tight this is your this is your fiddly bit, it just takes a little bit of time. Come in with your whip finishing tool. Whip finish here. Snip it. And your little bed, the thread there, so there's no miler on this. Your little bed of thread, just come in. But what you need to make sure you do is come in and go over the butt of your thread. Otherwise it'll slip down the hook shank. So I've given myself a little bit of space here, you can see. All you do now is, uh, with your thumbs, just push everything back, lay it flat along the body. I've maybe done that one a bit short. And then just secure. I have done that one a bit short. See if we can get that in there. Which is typical because I've done a, 
another one so you can see how to do the head but there you go it's a very short tail on that one really should have measured that a bit better so this little stray fibre just come out of your finger and pull that away so I've got my little bed there the thread and I just come in there's nothing at the head of the fly so it's nice and easy to whip finish like so snip that in there and then back in with your thread up at the eye of the hook come back a little bit just ping that thread off there and then what you're going to do here is create the the head area so you've got enough space for your your eye so you build quite a big head up because your eyes obviously are a focus point keep it neat if you can so it's all level like so and then when you're finishing the head always go through the back to the front one two three four five slipping right at the eye So now what you do is you come in with your varnish again. Stick a little bit, put it the whip finish, and then in with the varnish on the other side of the head. Now you need that coat of varnish on the head there if you're going to get your other varnish to adhere. So that's that part of the fly let's go in and finish it so do a batch of these, let that dry got another one here, pre-done a longer tail as you can see proper length I'm going to watch their sails go through the roof here so this is important you need cocktail stick, see I've been using that quite a bit and vineyard blood varnish or your um, what's the stuff I'm looking for UV stuff and all that, forget it blood varnish the colour spot, now I have to watch, I can't see what on earth I'm doing here and then just there you go, a little dab, I kind of mucked that up but you get the idea, a little dab I should have turned the fly around there you go, that's a better one on the opposite side um, I like to keep a little bit of kitchen roll handy clean everything off, otherwise it goes all over the place and that's it I made a bit of a mess of that, I usually turn that around in the vise but I've got plenty here that I can show you so that's that one the other one I've got is the CDC version um, that's how I fish the flies, I fish them in conjunction actually that's a better eye, you can see because I've turned the vise around to see exactly what I'm doing when I put the eyes on it you get the idea pin fry pattern simple tie, lethal for big fish hope you enjoyed that